Let's see further on the formulas of trains. If two trains start at the same time from points A and B towards each other, and after crossing they take x seconds and y seconds in reaching B and A respectively, then the ratio of speed is calculated as x speed and y speed is equal to root of y is to root of x. That's the formula. Moving further, the final important formula is the time is equal to distance divided by speed. Speed is the fastness of the object and time how much time and what is the distance. The formula is time is equal to distance by speed. Let's move on to the problem. In what time will a train 100 meters long crosses an electric pole? If its speed is 144 km per hour. So we are given three options and we need to try to identify the options. Now here you are able to see this one is in seconds and the speed is given in km per hour and this one is in meters. So obviously we need to convert your 144 km per hour your speed into meter per second. So 144 into 5 divided by 18. Putting it you got speed equal to 40 meter per second. So now I need to calculate the time. Time is equal to distance by speed. So the distance is 100 meters and your speed is 40. 100 divided by 40 you got 2.5 seconds. So the train will take 2.5 seconds to cross the electric pole. Now we got two trains, one from Delhi to Chennai and the other from Chennai to Delhi. Start simultaneously after they meet, the train reach the destination after 9 hours and this one after 16 hours. What is the ratio of their speed? This is the question. So x speed and y speed is calculated based on the timing. So root of y and root of x. That's 16 is to 9. So the time taken by y train and time taken by the x train. So obviously root 16 is to root 9 that's 4 is to 3. 